I am quite sure that we know about the torments and punishments that Jesus Christ had to go through when he was on this earth. He was beaten, then he was crucified. Now think about this. Jesus Christ is part of the Godhead. So he is eternal. He has no beginning and he has no end. He is so serious about us following his rules and regulations that he came to earth to prove to everyone that he can live by the rules that he set. So if an eternal being is willing to come down to earth to get beat and tormented to show us how to live our life, this is telling us that he is serious. Think about it. Many of us don't like pain. I know for myself, <laughs> I really dislike pain. But Jesus Christ is so serious that he came down to earth to teach us how to live for him. And he was following his own rules as well. And he got beat, tormented, something I would never want to go through. So if he is willing to go through all of that for us, imagine a person that doesn't want to follow his rules and regulations. He is not going to have mercy on you when you die in your sin, dying in disobedience to him. If he is so serious to go through so much pain for us on this earth, imagine what you are going to have to go through once you go to hell. Yes, he suffered so much on this earth, but you are going to suffer so much more in hell, way much more. Think about that. It is one thing if Jesus Christ would tell everyone, hey, I want you to do this and that. No, he, he came down to this earth <laughs> and lived by example, and even went through pain to show us how serious he is about this. So if someone is willing to go through so much pain to show us how to live, imagine the punishments that you are going to receive for not following him. An eternal being, a being with no end or beginning, or no beginning or end. Do you believe that your king or your president would go through all of that for you? Of course not, because they are a king and a president. God is higher than that, and he came down to earth to show us how to live. And he even got beat and tormented. So imagine what you have to go through if you continue to disobey God and die in your sin. He is not playing around. I know if I go through pain for someone and let me not say that. <laughs> So I pray that this makes sense. 
you can pretty much say that God is a mean God. He is a harsh God to send people to hell. Look, he came down to earth and suffered for us. If he suffered for us, you better be sure that we have to suffer for him. Whether we want to or not. Listen, if you can't overthrow God, if you can't take his power from him, if you can't beat up God, why are you going to fight against him? Yes, you may not like what he wants us to do, but what other choice do you have? I'm serious now. What other choice do you have? Now, for myself, at first, yes, I did not like his rules and regulations, but hey, <laughs> I am just a human. What can I do? If I disobey him, I know what is going to happen. It is not worth it. Yes, it may be painful. I may have to go through some pains in life, yes. But if I go to hell, I am going to suffer much more, 10 times more, 20 times more. Who actually knows? I know that being on fire all day long is not going to be pleasant. Being on fire all day long and not being able to die? Wow. I don't want that and you don't want that either so I pray that this makes sense give your life to God while you have the chance because going through all that pain if you go to hell it's not worth it the way I see it you are going to suffer either way you rather suffer the least than suffer the most. If I am going to suffer, let me suffer the least. Kevin, would you rather have a headache or a broken arm? Hey, give me a headache. <laughs> I don't want a headache, but if I have to choose from a headache, and a broken arm, hey, give me the least amount of pain. But I don't want a headache, and I pray against that right now because I know that our words have power. So I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless you.